Hey guys, welcome back to this shop. In this video, I'm going to be making a cardboard layout for the body.
Okay, so what I've done is I've thinned out the firewall by about two inches now, and that makes it so that from the front it looks a lot, a lot more streamlined. It doesn't kind of, kind of widen out as much um, toward the back. And I have the next section on here now. This is kind of at the back of the cowl, I guess, up where your dashboard will be on this side. And I have the steering wheel kind of set in there. Um, this line I drew is kind of a continuation if I were to keep these lines straight where they would land on that, that wall right there. I think what I'm going to try to do is have this kind of flare up a little bit um, to raise that up a little bit. And then for the steering wheel, I'll have a kind of bubble up over top, kind of asymmetrical over top of the steering wheel, uh, which is what a lot of the old Indy cars had. And I think it gives it that, that look I'm going for. All right, well I got pretty much the whole body now laid out in cardboard here and it was actually a lot harder than it looks. It was very difficult to get everything looking the way I had envisioned it. Um, especially after I widened the frame, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to make it um, quite as streamlined as I wanted it to be. But I think it turned out pretty well. I tried to go for this, this sort of offset um, cowl up there um, that kind of contours the steering wheel that a lot of the old um, indie racers had and I think it turned out pretty well. I raised the firewall up here by an inch to try to make this part less less extreme and I think it looks pretty streamlined. I just kind of threw in this back piece here to give an idea of what the boat tail is going to look like and I think that actually looks pretty darn good. Um, just that piece you can kind of see what that's going to look like. So I, did, I was test fitting this here. You can see I have my seat there which is going to be very low the pedals will be all the way up here. I have this um, circle in here kind of mimicking a 15 inch steering wheel. Originally I used a 17 inch one but there wasn't really going to be room to get my hands up here I thought. Um, so I have that in there for now but that might change as well. But overall I think this looks, this looks pretty good. Um, the next step would be to make a wooden buck for this because I want to have this all out of aluminum sheet and it had just a bare aluminum finish because I think that looks really cool. Um, don't ask me how I plan to actually do that because I don't know, <laughs> but that's what I want so that's what I'm going to have to do. Um, so this is going to be the last video for a while because winter breaks over now unfortunately and I'll be heading back to college for a few months, but don't worry, I'll be back and I'll see you next time.